Ah, look who made it. Are you going to change the name of the airport too, as you fly off? Marshall, call you? No, your new one. All right. The Logan Roy School of Journalism. What's next? The Jack the Ripper Women's Health Clinic. You uh, had a poke around the town? Uh, I've seen enough. You've been spreading your name all over this place like it was graffiti. They tried to get me to go into the old house. Another plaque? I saw a missile thrush at the bandstand. <laughs> sure you did. Oh, this old bastard. <laughs> I used to keep a log of the birds I see. Your grandpa would go through it and scrub out the ones he didn't believe I'd seen. You were always fairly generous with your sightings. <laughs> Yeah? Hello, valued shareholder. You will soon have a critical the fuck is this? I'm fucking robo calling me now. I was gonna say, it's nice to see you and, uh, and the old brother having a chat. Yeah, well. Yeah, he's a tough old bird, but, but he's, uh, he's... He's morally bankrupt. He's a nothing man. Who may well be more personally responsible for the death of this planet than any other single human being. He also makes the Callispatron franchise, which is, uh, you know, solid, mediocre entertainment. In terms of the lives that will be lost by his whoring for the climate change deniers, there's a very persuasive argument to be made that he's worse than Hitler. Right, well... And I'd appreciate it if you'd stop working for him. Okay, um, well, so I have moved up significantly, and this might sound dumb, but maybe I can kind of work it from the inside, and that way... If that you way refuse, I think it's well within my rights to remove your name from amongst the beneficiaries of my last will and testament. Okay. Because that's, that's, that's quite a pretty penny. Around 250 mil. And I'm sure Greenpeace would be very much obliged. No, th definitely. Uh, that is quite a pickle. Mm. That is a tough one.